them making like a bone that's supposed to look like a human bone and represent someone that was actually killed and who had like hopes and dreams. Students at King Low Haywood Thomas are making clay bones to support the worldwide project One Million Bones. It's a project that was started by Naomi Natale. She's uh, an art activist and she wanted to call attention to the issue of genocide and what was happening in East African countries. Natalie's goal is to lay one million bones at the National Mall in Washington, D.C. to represent the silent bones of genocide victims. Each bone donated will also generate one dollar to benefit youth in African countries. After learning of the project, Oleta decided to bring it to King. We decided to take it on as a school project. Uh, we believe in art activism, actually service learning, and just you know getting the students involved in making a difference in their community and around the world. Oleta says enthusiasm for the project quickly spread at King. Students of all ages got involved from high schoolers to kindergartners. It feels good because you know you're helping someone. Well, it feels great to uh, help people in need. I've learned not to take uh, Having all of these stuff at my house, you know, my family, oh, don't take that for granted because granted, it can easily slip away from you. Oleta says she hopes King can donate at least 500 bones to the cause. The bones will be displayed at the National Mall from June 8th to June 10th. Visit 1millionbones.org to find out more or learn how to help. In Stanford, Samantha McKelvey, itsrelevant.com.